Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I finally got approved for a Chase Inc. business credit card. Now um, I'm gonna be showing you basically an unboxing and kind of my experience and what I had to go through in order to get this card. Uh, even though I do have like an established business, Chase, um, they're kind of tricky to, you know, get approved for certain, or, you know, for their business credit cards. But anyways, first let's look at the unboxing. Um, so I had it shipped through FedEx, uh, next day mail, um, came pretty fast and, um, it just came in this envelope. Um, so we can toss that. And then also I did get the lowest APR for this card, which is really exciting. Uh, even though I'm not going to, you know, carry a balance, um, that's my balance. I mean, that's my, uh, APR 13.24%. And then when you apply for this card, you do get 0% for 12 months. Um, now, personally, I would always recommend paying off the card every month. Um, but, you know, if you do have like a really big purchase, I would recommend, you know, just trying to split it up within, you know, 10 months. Um, and just make sure you pay it all off uh, before the 12 months ends because you do want to either, you know, take advantage of that 0% APR if you do have a large purchase. Um, so you do have as well... Foreign, trans uh, foreign transaction fees, which is 3%. Uh, late payment, $39. Uh, return payment, $39. You got balance transfer. This is just like the basic stuff. Never, ever do cash advances. Never. Um, I've never done it. I don't think I know anybody who has ever done it. Uh, cash advances are the worst thing to do if you ever need cash. So just don't do it. Avoid it. Um, and then let's see what else is on here. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it on this document. Um, okay, and then now I think this is going to be the card in here. Let's see what else do we have. We have personal information, toss that, uh, business card agreement. And then let's take a look at this. Um, we have, let's see, credit access line, part information, let's see what else. Um, it's not really much to purchase this. I think this is just the basics as well. Um, strangely, they didn't send me, um, like, a like, inf any information on, like, the, like, how much cash back I'm supposed to get on every purchase. Um, I just noticed that. They didn't send me that kind of document. Oh, well, okay. That's fine. Um, so basically, this is going to be the card here. Um, I did actually get qualified for uh, $10,000. Um, this is my first Inc. business cash card or business credit card from Chase. Um, so this is a card. Let me just remove this, put all of this to the side. There you go. This is the card here. It is plastic. It would have been nice if it was metal. Let's do a drop test. Yeah, it's really plastic. You can see. This is it. it looks nice though. So with the business cash card, uh, this is the ink business cash. You are going to get a promotion rate of $7,500 you need to spend within three months and you will get $750 cash back. And with that, you can transfer it to, you know, if you have the reserve, which that's what I have, that's what I'm going to do is just transfer it on there. And, um, you know, uh, I mean, transferred on there and then just, you know, if I do decide to travel, I was supposed to travel this year, um, but when I do, I'll be able to, you know, um, use it for like airline partners and whatever it might be. And so also on this card, you do get 5% cash back. You do get it on off supply stores and internet, cable, internet, cable, um, phone services, and you do get 2% cash back on gas stations and restaurants, and 1% cash back on everything else. As well, you do get uh, travel protections. We do get auto rental collision damage waiver on this card. Um, you also get travel and emergency assistance, road di uh, roadside dispatch. You do have purchase protection, and I believe that one's going to be for 120 days against damage or theft up to $10,000 per claim and $50,000 per account. 
you also get extended warranty protection. So every time I apply for a new card, I try to get new, I try to get certain protections on them. Um, so that's what this card offers. I am more interested in the uh, ink preferred. Um, so, you know, down the road, I, you know, I'm going to apply for that card as well. And as well, I'm going to be doing an unboxing too. Um, so let's talk about real quick of how, how I got approved for this card. Um, the first time I submitted an application for this card, which was in November, um, I actually got denied. And I got denied because I didn't have a business relationship with Chase Bank. Um, when I had called the reconsideration line, uh, that's basically what the gentleman who I talked to said. He goes, you know, we have no history of you having a business, you know, relationship with us. So therefore, uh, you can't get approved for it. And I was kind of thrown off. I was like, what the, like, that's not, that's not right. That's not cool. Um, but they're just rules that Chase has, which I guess I kind of understand since they want you to do, you know, how use them as a business or, you know, store your money, your business funds in their accounts. Um, but it is what it is. So anyways, I opened up a business checking account and I used my EIN and, um, you know, the business checking account was a soft pool, was not in hard pool, as well as it was uh, another promotion that they had was you open up a business checking account and I think you deposit $2,000, make five qualifying transactions and you get $300 back. So I should be giving, getting $300 back from my business checking account from Chase. And then three days later, I applied for this card. Now, currently, uh, I am at 024, um, which is, you know, um, zero new accounts within 24 months. Um, I let all the new accounts drop off before I even applied for this car so I can get a higher chance of approval. Uh, so I'm at 024. And they did pull Experian. For some reason, all these banks love Experian. I don't think I had, I think it was actually one of my U.S. bank cards that did pull TransUnion. Um, but it looks like everybody likes Experian. Um, so there's that. And then let me see what else. I just want you guys to know what to prepare for if you guys ever want to get approved for, you know, a chasing business cash card. Um, I think that's about it. I think that was just my experience. I just op opened up a checking account because you're going to get denied um, if you apply for this card and you don't have a business relationship. I mean, you might get approved, but... From my experience, just play it safe. Uh, just open up a business checking account, which is a soft pull. Uh, wait at least three days and then apply for this card. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited I got this card. I've been wanting it for quite some time. Um, you know, down the road, like I said, I'm going to apply for the Ink Preferred. Um, yeah, but that's about it, I guess, guys. Uh, let me see if there's anything I want you guys to know. Hope you guys like this channel and subscribe. Thanks. Take care, everybody.